Max is Munchies! Mr. Cheesy Pop! Hey everyone, it's Max. Yeah, we're doing another Max is Munchies. I told you we'd be doing these more frequently. And today, we are going to go get the brand new Starbucks Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. What? Yes, Starbucks has come out with a new Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. We're gonna go check that out. And we're also gonna get the Iced Golden Ginger Drink, which was another new drink that I just have not tried. So we will make either of these Amex's Munchies and I gotta thank you guys for participating the last time on Max's Munchies when we did the Taco Bell Pineapple Whip Freeze. Check you guys out. Thank you so much. A lot of you participated and sent me your pictures for this Max's Munchies. Uh, if you'd like to participate in this one, go get either the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich or the Ice Golden Ginger Drink or both, and you can send them to me at Mr. Cheesy Pop on Instagram, at Mr. Cheesy Pop on Snapchat, at Maxwell Glick on Twitter, and you could be featured next time we do one of these. Uh, I'm gonna go get my mask, get going. I'm gonna place my mobile order so I could just go pick it up and bring it back, and we'll see how this is. Got the mask on, we love it. This was sent to me, by the way, by uh, Dolores, uh, one of you guys. So thank you, Dolores sent me really amazing masks and I'm rocking the uh, Harry Potter one today. All right, let's go get my Starbucks. Waiting for my order now. Let's show you what they have on the floor. Okay, we got this. Let's go home. I've plated the Impossible breakfast sandwich and this is the iced golden ginger drink. I want to taste this right away while it's still warm. So um, I should do that. Uh, let me give you guys a, a closer look at this actually. So here it is, the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. And as you can see, this is obviously plant-based sausage patty. You've got a caged free fried egg, aged cheddar cheese. And this is on a artisanal ciabatta. Uh, bread here. Yeah, we got artisanal ciabatta bread. That's a very nice piece of bread. Um, I'll, let me show you inside here so you could get a good look at the sausage patty. Ooh, a little stuck, but to, with the cheese. But there it is. Okay. It looks like sausage, I'll tell you. See if it tastes like it. There it is. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Mmm. That tastes like sausage. Always weirds me out a little when I eat this impossible food because it legit tastes like the real thing. I wanna taste the sausage without anything else because this does get overpowered a lot by the egg, obviously. Okay. It's not as like, it doesn't have those spices that come through when you're eating like a sausage patty. You know those real, you know those sausage spices I'm talking about. Um, I'm not getting a lot of that in this one. It's real close to being like a sausage patty. If you gave me this and I ate it, I would be like, well, it's a good sandwich. And then you told me after the fact that it was impossible, I would have been like, what? So it does taste like sausage, which always then worries me because I'm like, what is actually in this? Who knows, but it tastes pretty good. I just went to the website to actually go look and see the ingredients in this plant-based breakfast patty and, um. I'm just gonna read some stuff to you. Water, soy protein, concentrate, sunflower oil, coconut oil contains two or less of citric acid, cultured dextrose, food starch, modified garlic powder, methyl cellulose, mixed toso, toso ferals, taco ferals, I don't know, vitamin E. Natural flavors, nice and onion powder, pyridoxine hydrochloride, but that's vitamin B6, okay. Riboflavin, salt, sodium, asorbate, vitamin C, soy, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of stuff in it. All those look actually pretty decent. Huh. This is really not a bad way to start your morning, okay? I honestly will tell you that. This cost five bucks, $5.15 this was. Pretty good deal. It's a, actually a really nice size. I really do love the bread they used for this. So all in all, I gotta say this is this is really good. Let's try this guy. This is the Iced Golden Ginger Drink. A very beautiful color. I don't know what's going on here at the bottom. 
Uh, let's give it a sip. Ooh, this is a very, uh, this is a nice like tropical drink. So this is a coconut milk base. So it is a golden ginger blend with turmeric essence. That's what they call it. With pineapple, ginger, coconut milk. Ooh, I just got that ginger at the end. That little hint of spice comes right at the end and that's that ginger. So it's kind of got this little zinginess to it, which is pretty nice and surprising. I didn't know if I would like this drink. This is actually a really fun, tropical kind of beverage, but then the, the spice note comes in to kind of balance it out so it's not too sweet. Um, and the turmeric, gives it this uh, yellow color. That's cool. I'm two for two on these guys. The breakfast sandwich and the iced golden ginger drink. I actually recommend both of them. Wow, this is still zinging the back of my throat a little bit, the ginger. How cool is this? This is a nice little drink. If you, you gotta like coconut milk to like this though, cause it's heavy on the coconut milk. Obviously look at it, it's coconut milk. So, um, but this is really good. And I gotta say the impossible breakfast sandwich you guys did a great job starbucks well done if you guys want to participate in max's munchies go get one of these or both send me your pictures at mr cheesy pop on instagram at mr cheesy pop on snapchat at maxwell click on twitter you can be featured next time thank you so much for watching guys hope you're all doing well like subscribe check out my patreon page have a magical day everybody bye that's not the okay bye Hmm. <laughs>